Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas episode 4. I hope you're doing really well and enjoying December so far. Before you start watching the video make sure you go grab yourself a nice hot drink and a snack. Because yeah we're going to spend some cosy days together, hopefully do some festive things. Um, but also I have got quite a normal working week this week. I've got a fair bit on at the moment work wise and then obviously I'm doing Vlogmas as well. So I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and a tiny bit anxious as well but that's okay sometimes stressing is a blessing i obviously love work and i love to be busy as well so i'm not complaining first up i want to show you guys a little haul i've done recently this stuff arrived the other day and i know some gorgeous bits that i know you guys are going to love so i'll show you that in a second i actually can't believe how fast december is going like i feel like we're almost midway through it christmas is literally around the corner it makes me so sad i love december so much i just wish it could last like so much longer i also guys i know in my last vlog i was watching the undoing we've finished it now oh my god i loved it i thought it was so so good if you haven't watched it you can watch it on i think sky or now tv i feel like it's quite rare that i enjoy a series so when i do i'm always really happy that i found it and i really liked this one hugh grant is just honestly one of my favorite people ever i just think he's amazing even though he's kind of like a bad guy cheating on his wife um and stuff in the series i just still think he's the best person okay i'm gonna stop talking now and show you guys what i picked up from nasty girl this video is actually in collaboration with them which is super exciting as always and i can't wait to show you guys what i got doing a bit of editing this morning bee's here she just bought me a coffee um, no chai latte isn't it yeah very excited for this and bee's about to help me tie this bow because i can't tie it very well So before I started the haul, I thought I'd put a little bit of makeup on, make myself look a little bit more presentable. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this beautiful, cosy, short teddy coat. I have one of these that is really long and I love it, I wear it all the time. So I thought I'd get one which is like a kind of cropped. I really love the warm brown colour it has. Quite like thick and squishy so I can tell this is going to keep you really warm. And you also have a button here just to like do it up. But I think this would look really nice with like some big chunky biker boots, a hoodie underneath maybe, and like some skinny jeans. I just think this is gorgeous. So I got this in a size medium and it fits perfectly. The next thing I picked up is this black leather biker jacket. Again, I got this in a size medium. The leather jacket I have at the moment is oversized, but it's quite like a structured fit. And then this one is very like baggy and kind of in like that bomber jacket style shape, which I really like. It's just got a lot more of a kind of casual cool feel. I love the details on this as well. You've got this like elasticated waist with this buckle going on at the side. You've got some pockets. And I just think this is a huge like oversized hoodie underneath. Leggings and trainers would just make it a really cool look. They also had it in cream, which I was very tempted to get, but I just stuck to the black. The next thing I picked up was some underwear, and I always forget how much I love Nasty Girl underwear. They honestly just kill it when it comes to like sexy lacy pieces and like more comfortable things. I've got a bunch of you now. So I picked up this set, which is a bra and like kind of boxer shorts kind of thing. And the material of this is just gorgeous. It's that rib, like stretchy, soft material that is just so comfortable. And I just love the way this fit. It's very flattering. It really enhances your features. And the boxer shorts are just so comfortable. I wear this set like in bed or like on a loungy kind of at home day. And you can either wear it like on its own or you can put a robe over the top or just normal clothes over the top. Um, but yeah, I do love boxer shorts. I just think they're the best things ever. I've got both of these in a size small. They're kind of giving me like Skims-esque kind of vibes. Um, they also had this in like a nude and a brown, which I'm now tempted to get as well after trying these on and them fitting so nicely. The next thing I picked up is this jacket. You've probably already seen me wear this maybe in my last vlog and on my Instagram, but I'm just obsessed with this. I think it's so gorgeous. I love the colors. It's a really nice, soft, kind of fleecy material. And yeah, jackets are just one of the best things at the moment. I actually really loved this right done up to the top because it's kind of got this really cute um, curved collar, which kind of gives me like preppy vibes. Loved it. Um, we've also got some nice pockets here, very handy for like your phone and bits and bobs. What size did I get this? I'll put the size of it down below, but definitely go up a few sizes. I kind of wish I went up another one or two on this one just because i do like my jackets to be nice and cozy lots of room to layer and stuff especially in the winter and it also makes a really nice jacket for like cute winter walks going to the pub any kind of like cozy festive activity so to go with that jacket i specifically got these boots they matched the jacket perfectly and the whole vision of the outfit really came together yeah i just really love these they kind of remind me of like snow boots again nice and seasonal nice and festive and i've worn these already hence 
the little mark here and why I'm not touching the bottom of them. But they were very comfortable. I wore these all day in London the other day and they were just great. So I got these in a size three and they did come up a tad small, so maybe get up a size, especially if you like to wear like nice cozy socks underneath. Okay, so this next piece isn't typical Kate. I don't think I've got anything like this in my wardrobe, but I wanted to give it a go because I had an outfit in mind that I thought could look quite cool. Yeah, I haven't tried it on yet, but you'll see in the trial clip. Okay, so I thought I'd actually just jump in and vlog this for you so I can chat through this outfit. So basically my vision didn't quite come to life. This is what the outfit looks like. And I just think the color's not right on me and with the tights. But if this was in black, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to return this and order it in black because I love the way it fits. I love the shoulders, I love the way it really comes in at the waist, I think it's a really nice length and in black I just think it would be really gorgeous. It doesn't look right, I feel like I kind of look a bit like a sack of potatoes. So yeah, everything bar the colour is really nice. And then the last thing I picked up is this white hoodie. Again, I've already worn this one. It's really, really soft on the outside. Is it fleece lined? Yeah, it is fleece lined. I wouldn't say this is like overly thick. It's quite like a lightweight material. So when I got this out, I was a bit worried that it was going to be see-through. You can't tell it's thin when you're wearing it. Yeah, I have a couple of the Nasty Girl Black oversized hoodies, which I just love. So I wanted to try it in white. And I got this in a size medium. But yeah, it's not like that really thick, squishy material. It's more of like a kind of more like a kind of sweatshirt material i'd say yeah nonetheless i do really like it and it will be staying in my wardrobe they're just such a great basic like they're so good for layering as well anyway that is everything i've got to show you guys today now the plan is just to do a bit of filming and a bit of work i've got to film some stories and i've got to do some editing it was the night before christmas i was Bee, do you want some avocado toast This sight makes me so happy. Look how perfect this avocado is. That is actually stunning. For lunch, we're having this very messy looking plate, which is avocado, feta, um, pomegranate seeds, paprika, a bit of lime, salt, pepper, all sorts on heavy. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi guys, so we are on a, um, what's the word? Midnight adventure. Midnight adventure. We're going to go to Asda to make some gingerbread. Well, we're not going to make gingerbread men in Asda, but we're going to Asda to get gingerbread men ingredients, which is exciting. I actually really... I miss that so much at school, like the Christmas activities we do. What did you do? I didn't do that many. Do you know what I mean? Like there'd be like a whole week of like making snowflakes, decorating like gingerbread men. You mean in primary school? Yeah. Uh, I think we did like a Santa in, we made like a Santa face with a plastic plate. I hope um, Asda do gingerbread men cutters. Yeah, I'm sure they do. It's a classic. Hopefully they have like reindeer and star and stuff, so we can do loads. Should we get a roll? Do we have a rolling pin? We bought a rolling pin. No, we didn't. We did, I remember. We bought a brown, a... Oh my god, yeah. We bought a wooden one. Oh, we didn't bring it to this flat. Where did it go? We must have left it. No, wait, did we actually? Yeah, I remember. We bought one. We definitely need to buy one, because I've been using wine bottles. All right, yeah, let's buy one. First up, need to get a rolling pin. Just in that like cooking section. A major, major issue. We don't have any gingerbread men cutter things. Yeah, maybe in the biscuit section. Our last chance is the baking aisle. Fingers crossed. Can you get decorate what with? Gingerbread men. But we don't have any men. How do they not have any men? They have a mermaid decorating kit, but not gingerbread men. <gasps> These just saved the day. Is that the last one as well? Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, you saved the day. Wait, yeah, I did. So it comes in a kit and it comes with a cutter, yeah? Just add butter and golden syrup. It means gingerbread mix, ice, writing icing, red jelly beans and a cutter. Mm, okay. I feel like we should go for traditional. Yeah. Um coloured one with the pasta one. Maybe glitter one. Yeah. We got the last one! 
I can't believe it. It is in a box though. I didn't really want to do a box kit, but actually to be fair, it'll save us time. It's quite late at night, isn't it? Yeah. Let's watch The Crown, have mulled wine, make gingerbread. That sounds so nice. <laughs> and there's a police. Oh my god, I get really scared when there's a police. Please get down. <laughs> I literally used to do that whenever I police came past me at school. I'd literally be like, fuck, unroll my skirt. <laughs> whenever a police, I actually have like my heart. It's, it's like I've got drugs in the back or something. I obviously don't. I get so nervous. I feel like I'm going to get told off. Like, you're not very good at driving. We're going to take your car off you. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Honestly, it gets me really nervous. Indicator. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if you went. Sometimes, like, obviously I don't drive, but like when the green man goes, I think you can go. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't drive then. Yeah, I know, but like, how do you get used to not doing that? Like, as soon as you see a green man, I'm like, go. Oh, it's never really, that's never been an issue for me. Well, if I just, it would be, well, yeah. Oh, okay, then let's go for you. Super fragile calendar. Do you know that? It's all the words to that. Super colour fragile to get to be Yeah. I do, yeah. Do you? No. Mine what? That's like a classic. I know, but it's always far too complicated for me. What do you mean? So complicated. It's the most complicated song probably in the world. If it's not. Super colour fragile to get to be I actually don't need the rest. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> I used to love that film. I really want to watch The Holiday again. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't tell you. Wait, did I tell you? About watching Love Actually. Yeah, you told me you watched it. What? Did I tell you the story? It's so funny. So we were watching Love Actually, obviously, as you know. Yeah. Martine McCutcheon was like, um, I was like, oh, she follows me on Instagram. And I was like, that's my claim to fame. It makes me so happy because I love Love Actually. Love, 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 love. Yeah. So I love, love, love Actually. Yeah. And then in Love Actually... No one knows, Kate. That's so gross. <laughs> but you just burped out of her nose. Anyway, let me carry on my story. Sorry. And she was like, I live in Wandsworth, in the film. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, should I meet her for a coffee? <laughs> And I don't think she lives near us now. In real life? Yeah, in That's real not life. Movie. I was crying. <laughs> oh, bless he, him. he said it with such like sincerity. He was like, oh, you should go for a coffee with her if she follows you. And I was like, oh. It's so funny. <laughs> should have burped out the window. I didn't know it was going to come. <laughs> I literally didn't. It took us both by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So we got some mini marshmallows for making hot chocolates, whipped cream. Red wine for mulled wine, some bits to decorate the gingerbread men with, and some boring washing up stuff. Oh my god! Look how many jelly babies I gave her. That is so stingy. So we've got the stuff all ready for the mulled wine. It's gonna pop. The orange ears. Are you having a mental breakdown? <laughs> so I actually am. Yeah, I'm it down. So we've got the mulled wine brewing on the hob. These are the bits and bobs I put inside. So I put one cinnamon stick, a few cloves, and one star. How do you say that? Star on ice? Star? I'm not sure. But yeah, that's what we got in. Um, so the place is feeling very Christmassy right now, especially with the White Company candle. So B is a woman of many talents. She's amazing at cooking, but baking isn't her forte. So I'm gonna be doing the baking and then B's gonna help me with the decorating. What? Nothing. <laughs> so the instructions are basically really simple. You need three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of corn syrup. And you just melt it in a pan and then you add the pre-made mixture that they gave you. Okay, we're just gonna add this. Hmm. Yeah. You're welcome. Wait, you might want a coaster. Are you seriously though? 
I want to plan our Christmas day. Okay. So V and I are having our own little Christmas because obviously we're going to be with our families for Christmas. So we're going to have a friendmas. Um, <laughs> we should have like Christmas dinner. Yeah. Presents, stockings. We've got these really cute stockings here yeah, and I've, here. But I've got nothing to put in the stockings. I need to, well I need to get something, I just don't know what. I'll do that now, which stockings do you want? Mm, I've had a white one. Oh, I knew it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got them from Amazon, they're so cute. They were 11 pounds for both of them. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, and it's awful. I think they let's do it on the night before Christmas. Okay. <laughs> um, and we should watch like what else? Like, watch Christmas films. Yeah. Home Alone. We've not watched that yet. No, we haven't. And what other Christmas things are there? We should play Christmas games. Like what? I don't know. It's gonna be hard, just two of us. <laughs> <laughs> let's do like a full-on spread. It's gonna be so sad though, just the two of us. I know, oh my god, should we make the table really long and yeah. leave the rest? <gasps> yeah, that's a good idea. And we have like candles in the middle. Yeah, like greenery going Ooh, down. Oh, Christmas middle. crackers. Christmas crackers. And then maybe we could play a song on piano. <laughs> should we do it? <laughs> no, we both have to learn a Christmas song. Okay. And then perform it. Okay. I've already started mine. What have you? Okay, we're both gonna do a Christmas piano performance then. Okay, I'm joking, yeah? No, I think we should do it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning a Christmas song as well. Okay, it's a shame we don't have a dog to walk. Could we go down like a nice Christmassy walk? We well, can go on a Christmas walk on the common. Yeah, after dinner, after like lunch slash dinner. Yeah. It's another nice walk. Oh, you go to the pub. Oh, yeah. She goes to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's good that we should invite the concierge up. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just discovered that this doubles up as the reindeer. What well, I've just discovered. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. So this is a man, and then you turn it over, and look, this is a reindeer. See, those are his ears at the top, and then these are his antlers. No, these are his antlers. These are his ears, and this is his Rudolph nose. Let me see that. Wait, look. Wait, look How here. the hell did you get that? Look, see, on the box here. Okay, so the mixture is hardened and I'm now going to pop it onto the surface. B! Oh, you're there. <laughs> Friends for <are> you! <laughs> oh, you got it wrong! No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, he's got really long hairs. He's like a sea monkey. <laughs> Really short, fat head. Oh, he's like fat head. He was just like long and thin. Mine is short and fat. <laughs> yeah. Et from home. Mom, Dad, I'm home alone. He doesn't say that. He does. I'm home alone. <laughs> what if he ever says I'm home alone? He does. Oh yeah, he does. Mom, Dad. I'm home, I'm not home. No, he doesn't actually. <laughs> he does. If you guys are wondering about our music taste in the background, we're <laughs> um, listening to royalty free music so we don't get copyrighted. Look, it's the Muffin Man. Oh, I love this guy. This is my favourite. Yeah, he's really cute. He, oh, no, no, he looks like um, the evil one in um, Toy Story 4. I haven't seen that. I think it's really good, you should. Here are all of our children. I made the Christmas tree. B made this angel. <laughs> oh my god, look at them! Oh, he's perfect right there. Oh, he's a good one. Look how fat the tree is. I know, the one I said I really liked, his legs are stuck together. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, they look done, don't they? Yeah. Should we turn it off? Yeah. The cookies are done and we're going to do some decorating now. Oh, this is so exciting! Um, can I have the white first? Fine. I 
we both want to go for that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Talk you yours has lost a hand. He mm. hasn't. Uh, he has. Can't lose what you never had. You definitely did have one. Because I'm born of it. Oh my god, you so copied me! Shut up, yours is like ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> I started first. No, but you actually copied me. No, I actually didn't. Oh my god, it looks like ketchup B. Yeah, yours does look like ketchup. Oh, B, mine's terrible. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, no, yours is really good, B. Yeah, mine is so cute. I'm gonna do Excuse me, can you put it in the communal area? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Walking in. Oh, oh, you put the lid on. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. Walking in a winter wonderland. Just so cute. Mine has shoes and socks on. <laughs> <laughs> Gingerbread man you've ever seen. Oh, he is cute. In your life. Yeah, no, I, I give you that. Mine, mine's gonna have a bow tie. <gasps> oh my <laughs> god, you nearly jogged me. <laughs> Here are the finished gingerbread men and reindeer. Look how cute they are. I'm gonna kind of turn it around to see the reindeer. Here are the two reindeer. We've got a B, we've got a B, we've got a K, and then all of the cute little men around them. I'm just filming on my iPhone, so hopefully the quality isn't too terrible. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I actually had some more days, but I think I'm gonna split them up into another vlog, so this vlog isn't really, really, really long. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you all so, so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.